Really, Poirot? Are you sure you're not letting your professional instincts run away with you? Why should I do that, mon colonel? Old woman with a heart condition, walking, the heat. Yes, yes but I you know. know she had pricks in the arm, a family that hated her. She could easily have taken an overdose of her own medicine. No, because it was her habit to take that drug in water, administered by her daughter-in-law. You mean she's a suspect? Oh, my dear colonel, everybody's a suspect. Well, you're the expert, but what do you want me to do? <laughs> that doctor, what's her name, Dr. King, thought it was natural causes. I'm convinced that Mrs. Boynton was murdered. Can you show me any evidence? I can do better than that. I can identify the guilty party. Oh, my dear fellow, I couldn't possibly ask you to do that. I mean, you're on holiday, after all. I give you my word of honor. You mean you'll give us a case that will stick? Well, I don't know that I can do that, but uh, I can tell you who the murderer is. Well, how long will it take? I mean, I can't keep all these people here as suspects forever. They'll soon run out of day trips to take and insist on going home. I will give you the truth in two days. Very well, very well. 48 hours. In time for the coronation junket at the American colony. You seem very certain. I am very certain, because, you see, people like to talk. And in talking, they tell the truth. Why? It puts much less of a strain on the memory. Oh, but, of course, you have to have the genius to listen.